right. you go. Well, as we said, wedding season is upon us. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're asking the question, how much should you give to the couple? That's a good question. Yeah, the typical response is cover your plate. I had uh, never heard that before. I know. Really? No, never. I've I, never heard I that think before. it's a new thing. It's a new thing no, these days. No, I've heard that's been around for a while. But uh, the conversation around how much a plate should be well, is a then whole how do you know other. Exactly. People shouldn't be telling you. Fish. I feel like that's a little yeah. tricky. Yeah. Okay, so a finance column in the Globe and Mail, though, says that that rule of covering your plate, it should be thrown out the window. Okay. So it's common sense for weddings to be extravagant these days, but why should guests try to keep up with the opulence of the wedding they're going to? Exactly. So here's mm -hmm. the suggestion keep within your own budget, whatever that may be, and forget trying to cover someone else's lavish wedding costs. So what are your yeah. thoughts? Well, it gets tricky when it comes to money, and I think that a lot of brides and grooms and couples, uh, whether uh, they be bride and bride or groom and groom, whatever, they're asking for money as opposed to gifts. And um, we heard that from Kamal, one of our producers this morning, saying that that's the trend he's seeing at a lot of weddings. So if you're going with what is in your budget, it becomes very obvious how much you've spent. I know there's a lot of registries where you can buy a gift off the registry, but say you're going to a very fancy wedding and in your budget it's only maybe $50 to $100 and you put that in, do you then look cheap? Because they know exactly how much money you've put in. It's, it's not, it's not a, a, an admittance issue. It's, it's a gift. I mean, that's what it's called. It's a gift and you're not doing it in exchange for being there. That, that's, it, one should have nothing to do with the other. But it, it so shouldn't, often does. But it does. So if does. you've ever well, been around when people are opening envelopes oh, yeah. and they're mm -hmm. opening cards and they're opening gifts. Well, that should I've be... Been, listen, I've been a bridesmaid at a lot of weddings and those conversations Happen, happen and, and you're it's uncomfortable. But the, yes. why do that in front of other people? You're, op you're opening gifts that you know are are are, are checks and, and and money. People you do that behind closed doors on your own. Yeah, I kind of agree. That's the you tackiest that. thing. Okay, but can we okay, just, I agree, but there are certain cultures where it is like about family honor. And you, I, this is not our family, but we sat down. I was a bridesmaid at a wedding, and mom in law wanted to know. Who gave what or whatever? But oh, listen, yeah, people even, outside, even outside of family honor, like we did that at our wedding. We had a gift opening on the Sunday, and some of oh, them really? were checks, and some of them were yeah. gifts, and we opened oh. everything in front of in front everybody. Of other people? Yes, and it, it mm. yeah, like I mean, you see what everyone got everybody, and there's that that. But, okay, so wait, can, also, we just, can we just break this down because yeah. we're we're speaking sort of obtusely about how much. So, what would you suggest if you're going to a wedding? Is it like one one fifty if you're a single, and like two two fifty if you're a couple? Sounds, that's is that about, about, sounds about right. Is that about right? Do. Okay. But I'm sure it, it depends on traditional traditional um, uh, protocol says that you have up to a year to give a gift. That's true. You have a full year to so give a gift. So do installments. Uh, Emily Post says that. Mm. So I'm going to send that to you later, long after you've opened the gifts, and I'm nowhere oh. near you. What if you do, like, you send them 10 bucks a month? Sure. I love that. Exactly. I had never heard that, and honestly, if someone didn't give me a gift on my wedding day, I figure that I'm not getting a gift. Oh, I know. I'm not so waiting I a year. I still know who didn't give us a gift. <gasps> really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was, I and still I'll tell you, typically, it was, the, <laughs> it was my husband's single male friends. Uh, and there's only a couple, they were a couple of them at the time, but yeah, they just didn't think to give the gifts, apparently. Ah. Uh, yeah. You know who you are. It comes back around then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let us know. Chime in on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let us know your thoughts on how much money do you give? Yeah. Do you do money? Do you do the registry? All the things. We need to know. <laughs>